Okay, today we shall be doing the Granger causality test. You can see from here that we shall be doing today. So, what is our question? The question is that whether consumption causes lending rate or the lending rate causes consumption. So, this one, this one, we can test using Granger causality test. So here we have two variable, one is consumption and the second variable is lending rate, right? So now uh, we have set our model, you see the first model is the consumption at T period and C1 is the coefficient of the lending rate LR. And T minus 1 is the lag period. Then C2 is the coefficient of the second variable, which is consumption. And T minus J is the lag period. That means number of number of years here. Number of year, number of years of lag of consumption variable. And EYT is the residual of the first model. Of the first model. Second model, lending rate is the is the variable, and at t period, at at t means current period, and c three is the coefficient, and l r is the uh, lending rate, and t minus one is the lag period. C four is the coefficient of consumption variable at t minus j lag period or number of lags or years of lags this lags is very important suppose when i take 2 lag when i take 4 lag when i take 5 lag when i take 6 lag when i take 8 lags probably the decision will change so the lag is very important in Granger causality test and, and here consumption is CONS as I said and LR referred to lending rate and here we assume that consumption and LR that means consumption variable and LR variable must be stationary. If they are not stationary, we have to make it stationary before running the Granger causality test. Because Granger, uh, in Granger causality model, we can only use the stationary variable. Only use the stationary variable. So if the variable is not stationary, we we'll have to make it stationary before running Granger causality test. Okay, for our particular model, for this model, we assume that our variables such as consumption and lending rate both are already stationary. Then we can run the model. And here we also assume that our two residual are uncorrelated that we also assume that then we set our null hypothesis what is the null hypothesis consumption does not granger cause lending rate and vice versa that means consumption does not cause does not affect lending rate that is our null hypothesis so if it is null then what is the alternative hypothesis alternative hypothesis is that consumption does cause lending rate consumption does cause lending rate which is opposite of the null hypothesis okay now how to test this null hypothesis we can test the null hypothesis using F statistics. F statistics uh, is a way 
to test the null hypothesis. Now what is the guideline? The guideline is that if the p-value is more than 5%, we cannot reject null hypothesis. Rather, we accept null hypothesis. And if the p-value is less than 5%, we reject null hypothesis, meaning that we accept alternative hypothesis. That is the guideline of rejecting and accepting null hypothesis. Okay, now now we, we go to our original, uh, we, we go to our EV model. We open the EV model. Why is the EV model is here? Just opening up. Just opening it. Why is the EV is here? Okay. Oh, sorry, just a minute. If you come up here. It is here. We got it. Okay. So uh, this one is our EV model. You can see from here. Uh, uh, you can see that is our range. That means the data from 1970 to 1990. And we have two variables. One is consumption and one is lending rate. Cons means consumption and LR means lending rate. So what I do, I open these two variables one by one. You can see as a group the data. So you can see consumption and lending rate, which start from 1970. You see the real variable until 1990. Right? See. From 1970 to 1990, that means the data is around how many years? I guess 21 years data. Now, uh, uh, now, uh, now we can use the Granger causality model to test whether consumption affect LR or LR affect consumption, or in other way, consumption causes LR or LR causes consumption. That we can check now using Granger causality test. So that we do now. Okay, how to do it? Uh, we go to the models. Okay. Uh, to do it, uh, I, I take it down. So this is our screen, right? This is a screen. I go to quick, right? Then I go to group statistics. I go to Granger causality test. You can see from here. Now we have two variables, one is cons and LR and we assume that our these two variables are stationary, already stationary. Then I press OK. OK, here I have, I have chosen two lakhs, two lakhs, then what happens? Two lakhs I have chosen, then I check what happens. So the result is coming up gradually. So this is the outcome of the Granger causality test. You can see the outcomes. Granger causality test. And we have used that 2 lakh. And it is our null hypothesis. It is their statistics. And it is the probability value or P value. Our null hypothesis is what? Our null hypothesis is that LR does not 
grandeur cause consumption lr does not cause cons or consumption and what is our f statistics 2.54 and what is our p value 11. Point, uh, p value is 11.40 percent 0 0.1140 means 11.40 percent but 11.40 percent is more than 5 percent so we cannot reject null we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis meaning that lr does not grandeur cause consumption meaning that lr does not cause consumption our second null hypothesis is consumption does not grandeur cause lr what is the f statistics 0 0.78501 and what is the corresponding probability? 47.52%. 47.52% means which is more than 5%. We cannot reject null hypothesis. Rather, we accept null hypothesis. What is our null hypothesis? Consumption does not grandeur cause lending rate. So this result we get when we take lag 2. But what happens if I take lag 4? I can check now. As before, I go to group statistics and I go to grandeur causality test as before and I write the variables cons and LR. Okay, here I put 4 lakh. I put 4 lakh. Then I see what happens. So it is the outcome of Granger causality test. And I have taken 4 lakhs. It is the null hypothesis. What is the null? LR does not Granger cause consumption. It is the F statistics and corresponding p-value. What is the p-value? 6.07 percent which is more than 5 percent meaning that we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis. It means that LR does not cause consumption. What about the second one? Consumption does not Granger cause LR. Can I can I accept or reject? I go to p value. What is the p value? 19.33. 19.33%, which is more than 5%. So we cannot reject null hypothesis, meaning that consumption. Uh, uh, does not cause lending rate. Okay, now I take lag 5, then see what happens. Lag 5 I choose now. I put the variable consumption LR as before. Okay, here I choose now 5 lag. I put 5 lag, then I see what happens. It is the outcome of the Granger causality test and here I put lag 5 and we check our null hypothesis. LR does not Granger cause consumption. What is the p-value? p-value is 4.15%. 4.15% means it is less than 5%. So here we can reject the null hypothesis and we can accept the alternative hypothesis. If we accept the alternative hypothesis, 
it means that LR does cause consumption, which is opposite of the null hypothesis. I'm saying again, here the p-value is 4.15%, which is less than 5%, meaning that we can reject our null hypothesis and we accept alternative hypothesis. And what is our alternative hypothesis? LR does cause consumption. So now you can say, when I took lag 2 and lag 4, we could not reject null hypothesis. But now, when I take lag 5, then yes, we can reject null hypothesis. So the lag, lag is very important. How many lags, yeah, how many lags are very important? So we have to decide the right lag. Okay, so here the second one, consumption does not grandeur cause LR. Second one, no. In case of second one, we cannot reject null hypothesis because p-value is more than 5%. So only in the first null hypothesis, yes, this one we can reject, but not the second one. So now you can see lag is very important to decide.